Hi, this is Kevin Dio from Upscale Audio, and today I'm here with Kat Orlin. Hey guys. And we are gonna talk about the Kabas Keshi Micro 2.1 system. I mean, oh my God, I'm telling you, Kat, you love this thing, don't you? I do love this thing. This is our floor model that lives in our lobby here at Upscale, and every time I walk into the shop, I swipe the Kabas app, I start playing my music, and this thing just fills our lobby. It, it is a, a complete solution. I mean, it is a, uh, it, it is a music streamer, it's a 1,050 watt amp. Mm -hmm. It has DSP built into it with a microphone that goes up to, I mean, it's got so much stuff in it and it's around, you know, in the $3,000 price range for an all-inclusive system with a bitch and remote. What do we do with the remote? Well, we'll get it for you in a second. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But God, there's so much to this. I gotta tell you something. I love Kabas. It is a real company. And if you don't know about it, go look at the Steve Gutenberg channel, the Audiophiliac, and look at his review of the Kabas Murano. Because Steve really knows, he actually has a great affection for Kabas from back in the day when he sold them like decades ago. Uh, because they're famous for making spherical speakers, which is like the perfect shape for loudspeakers. And they pioneered that, and they've done, they hold so many patents. I mean, they're not a some poser company. And uh, some years ago, they had merged with another company that is super heavy into technology and DSP and the Internet of Things and making our world easier to use and uh, and sound better. Yeah, I love that they're in the active world. They are in the active world. And you know, I, and I gotta say something about that, right? Mm -hmm. Because you were just talking about how this thing is like a, a Tesla. Yeah, every time I walk into the lobby and I hear music out of it, it sounds better each week. Well, I mean, and that's the truth because some of their products, I mean, they've had these over the air updates like a Tesla car. Yes. Uh, where they actually do improve the performance over a period of time. And some companies don't do that. They use uh, a, th a third party or second party to, to do, you know, they just buy uh, something off the shelf for functioning. But that means that once you've got that, that's all you got. And they oftentimes don't do updates to it. And in the worst case situations, you they might even become unusable. I have some music servers I won't tell you the manufacturer because I don't deal with them anymore, but I've got $3,000 music servers in the back in stock that I cannot sell to anybody for even $100. And there were $3,000 items, you know why? Mm. Because the manufacturer had the wisdom of taking the app off the app store so now they just turned into a piece of metal i don't dig that kind of stuff i want people to buy things that they can own and use so uh what makes this so special well i'll tell you when you listen to a 2.1 system with little itty bitty satellites a lot of times there's going to be what do you want to call it uh gaping hole yeah okay <laughs> yeah i mean just a, a lack of a lack of cohesiveness, I guess, right? In the right? mid-band, yeah, some, some nice detail in the mid. Too, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, there's just not a lot of body uh, oftentimes, and they've done some really cool things that, to overcome this. And the first one is called... It's called the CRCS, which is a Calibration Room Compensation System. There you go, bingo. And what that means simply is, is that, um, that this, the subwoofer... I'm going to let you talk about the subwoofer driver itself okay. in a moment. You know what? Let's talk about that thing first. We can. It is yeah. bitching as hell. This thing weighs a ton, right? Because they should see it before we talk about yeah. how it how does do they its do correction. This? Yeah. Carbon fiber. So this is utilizing their held patent design, which is Kabasa's base driver design. High excursion, low distortion. This thing pumps out some serious air. It is unbelievable how fast it is and how much it moves. Yeah. So what they do is uh, you push a button on the app and it's going to send test tones out and it's going to measure the system giving it the flattest response. It sends out the tones, it gets, it receives them back into a microphone, it sends it up to the Kabas servers up in the cloud and then that server comes back and says this is what you can do and what you can't do to sound the best in that room. Boom, with one push of a button. I love it. The <laughs> system's very like unassuming, but it'll just give you a really great sound. It kicks ass. And that DSP is super helpful. And then after you've done the room correction, you can tell the Kabas system what type of room it's in. And which, which feature is that? That's another patented design. It's called Deep. It's uh, the Digital Enhancement Acoustical Profile. So what type of room do you have? Do you have really hard reflective room? Do you have a soft absorptive room? You know, shag carpets everywhere, maybe a theater. Or do you want to put something like a kibosh system outside? 
you can actually tell the kibosh system what style room you're going to put it in and it's going to help attenuate those frequencies. Bingo, bingo. So that's really, really super cool. Yeah. And then there's another feature that it has, yes. that has uh, which I think is one of the most valuable. It's very, very useful. Um, it's another patented design DSP called DFE. It's the Dynamic Fidelity Enhancement Tool. And uh, we kind of described this as a little bit of a loudness contour, but it's a little more sophisticated. It's a lot more sophisticated. Yeah. It uses artificial intelligence, yeah. and it's continuously variable. I mean, you know what the problem is in people's homes, right? Well, when you've been blasting your new system all day, everyone wants you to just turn it down. So you're going to be losing those really nice details uh, at those low listening volumes, and this DFE, this it's a variable contour that will allow you to boost and reduce those signals. Right. Well, so what happens is the, the human ear is less sensitive to top end and bottom end at lower listening levels. And that's what a loudness contour control uh, button is on your receiver. But this is continuously variable and it's a lot more sophisticated. It's a lot different than that, but it's similar to that. It is happening in, in real time. It's happening in real time and it is just super, super cool. And so what I found is, is that by careful positioning of these, uh, the satellite speakers and using that function, I could really get that mid band to sound unbelievably realistic when you don't have a six inch mid, mid range. Driver. Totally. And they right. give you three meters of cable to run with. Mm -hmm. um, so you can place these in a variety of rooms, office setups. I can see a lot of my clients using that it, for that. It actually does come with a wall mount. It does come with a wall mount right. and a base mount. So there's a little felt strip on here so you can put it right on the surface yep. or it gives you five different configurations for the wall mount. 450 watts for the base driver, 300 watts each for the satellites. Yeah, and then, okay, so streaming. It'll do Ethernet, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Um, it is equipped with Google Home, so you can command Alexa through it. Um, it does give you USB 2.0, so if you want to utilize the DAC inside of it, um, it'll run anywhere from uh, 768 32-bit, um, DSD to 128, and it's got an optical input, so you can connect other sources to it. And it has a 3.5 millimeter, and they include a 3.5 to RCA. So if you wanted to hook up a CD player or an analog setup to it, build upon it, you can. And then on top of that, you can actually get, if you're really digging this system, you can actually get more kibosh setups. We did the video on the Akoya. That's a really rad setup. And you can connect all of them together through the app, or you can control them independently. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's, it, it is so much fun. It is yeah. tremendous fun. Um, and it's an all-inclusive solution that can be used in different rooms, or this room, your exercise room, your office. Anything. Anything. It's just bitching as hell. I mean, the, and you, when you look at the quality, even the speaker connectors are carbon fiber. It's yeah, just they're beautiful. slick as hell. Comes in black mm -hmm. and white. Uh, and I don't, I don't know what to say, except it's just scary freaking good. Yeah, it's heavy as hell. It comes in a really nice leather case, and it does come with that remote, which we'll show you guys in feature. It's yeah, no we'll show you, the, the, we'll show you the remote because we just misplaced it. I think we took it back over to the store. Yeah, it's like the size e of a hockey puck. It, it's very, very cool. But mm -hmm. you know what? You'll end up using the app. Yeah. Because the app has just got it's slicker than hell. It's everything in front of you, too. So, I mean, you could put Tidal, Cobas, whatever you want. You can sum it into that Kibos app and... Uh, Log in and Bingo. Start so listen, every town is better off with a hi-fi store. If you've got a local kibosh dealer, make sure that you support them. That's super, super important. Every town's better off with a hi-fi store and a record store, in my estimation. If not, you know, let us know if we can help you here. Uh, and uh, you know, I just want to say something. I, I'm so proud to have this brand. I mean, they just they're you know, I, their response time to us and their technical support yeah. has been... They're fabulous. They're fabulous. There's a, some companies that are not. They're very attentive. And these, these folks have just been badass. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I want to thank Kat Orlin so much for doing this with us. I didn't know that we'd stumble through it so well, but we did. <laughs> and I want to thank you for shopping at Upscale Audio. Is that the thumbnail? I think that turned out great. That was cool. Yeah. <laughs>